Today, guys, we are going to be looking at limerick poems. So you're probably asking what a limerick is. Well, a limerick is a poem that contains five lines and it has a very distinct rhythm and rhyme pattern to it. We talked about rhythm and rhyme last week when we had a look at the elements of poetry, but just in case you have forgotten, rhythm is the regular pattern that the words go by in, and sometimes it's referred to as the beat. And rhyme is of course when the ending of different words sound similar. Let's have a look at an example of a limerick poem. There was an old man of Peru who dreamt he's eating his shoe. He woke in the night with a terrible fright and found out it was perfectly true. Did you notice anything about the rhythm and rhyme of that limerick poem? The rhythm of the poem actually follows an A, A, B, B, A kind of beat. So that means that the first, second and fifth lines, not only do they sound similar, they actually are made up of seven to ten syllables. That also means that the third and fourth lines are similar too, and they're made of just five to seven syllables. Based off that pattern, we can actually write our own limerick poems. So how about this one that I planned earlier? Two teachers named Matthew and Mike went riding on a red tandem bike. Matt's pedal fell off, they crashed into a trough, so back home they had to hitchhike. Or perhaps you're interested in hearing one of Mike's limerick poems. <clears throat> There once was a girl called Alana, whose skin was as smooth as a banana. She stayed in the pool so long it was uncool and came out looking just like a sultana. Notice how limericks are usually used for humour. Well, now it's your chance to make someone laugh with your limerick. Don't forget to follow the rhythm and rhyme pattern and remember to submit your limericks for laughs on Google+.